you know, 2008 was, depending on, I guess, where you sit, a, a pretty amazing year. Yeah. Um, and early in 2008, you started talking about work on stuff that matters, um, which I think became increasingly more relevant as, as uh, some, of the, some of the financial world collapsed around us, et cetera. I wanted you to just kind of review the topic and what stuff does matter that we should be working on. You know, it, it's, first of all, there's, there's a lot of things that qualify. Um, uh, I've actually been working on a blog post right now about how to think about that rather than what is the explicit right. set of things that matter. And one of them, uh, the, the first test to me is, um, are you thinking about more than payday? Mm -hmm. you know, it's pretty simple. If you're thinking about the payday uh, as, as the, the biggest part of your thinking, it's pretty clear it probably isn't that important. You know, or you're going about it wrong. Secondly, uh, there's this line that I got from Brian Irwin, who used to work for me, which was, um, uh, create more value than you capture. You know, in a really good, uh, you know, if you're working on stuff that matters, you are creating value for a lot of people, not just for yourself. But then number three is, uh, you know, are there, and it's kind of looping back around to the first one in some ways, you know, there are a lot of big problems that need to be solved. Uh, you focused on one of them. Is this big? Yeah, uh, yeah. Is it big? Is it important? Is it, is it going to make a difference to a lot of people? And um, I, I, I guess I, I, I feel that um, when I think, so then when I think about, well, what does matter right now? I mean, clearly, um, you know, fixing our economy is really big. Mm -hmm. But it's also important how we fix it. Because we could fix it by trying to go back to the way we were, yeah. or we could use this moment when it's broken to try to remake it and reinvent it. And I think you know there are a lot of areas. Uh, you know, Michael Pollan talking about uh, how we need to, or Wendell Berry talking about how we need to rethink uh, you know sustainable agriculture. Yeah. You know, and our relationship to food. Mm -hmm. uh, you look at the imbalance in the valuing of financial innovation versus real engineering. Uh, you look, you know, so do we really want to, st you know, stimulate, you know, create a stimulus to get people consuming again? I don't think so. Right. You know, or, or we, you know, we want consumption to be in balance. Right. Uh, so there's a whole lot in the economic sphere, and then figuring that out will, you know, be very difficult. It's almost like a crashed car where you're yeah. trying to, are you trying to really repair the same car? You yeah. The car's yeah. totaled. Let's, yeah. let's build a new yeah, car. Yeah, let's build a new car. Uh, and clearly because government is so wrapped up in the whole um, equation now, mm -hmm. all the stuff we've just been talking about, uh, about reinventing government is critical. The, um, uh, I think there's a huge opportunity to make a difference there. I think we have to think about education. Mm -hmm. Uh, no question that uh, you know education is a is a creator of value. You, you, it's something you're passing on to future generations. It makes uh, uh, everything else better. <laughs> right. Uh, I, I think uh, there's a lot of opportunity to make a difference in healthcare. We have an incredibly inefficient system, uh, and there's so much. You know, when you think about some of the Web 2.0 trends and the um, you know, the, this idea of things infused with IT, you can imagine how much better we could make, you know, medical records, uh, diagnostics, and yeah. this, this cool technology that's being used actually in places like Africa, you know, where it's right. like they're using mobile phones to collect data, yep. uh, you know, or do remote diagnostics. You can attach sensors to a phone, right. you know, and, 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 you know, creating these remote clinics. You can, you know, do... Yeah. Uh, you know, some of the stuff that's happening with personalized medicine yeah. and, and uh, genetic testing, all this is very heavy sort of IT folks. We mm -hmm. could, you know, increase the health and livelihood of people, you know, and um, if, I think if, energy, another huge area, uh, yeah. we've got to solve, uh, but not just from, from a climate change point of view, but also from an... Uh, from the point of view of sustainable energy, figuring out what the new energy economy looks for, l looks like um, new kind of business models. You know, mm -hmm. because if you look at something like a better place, it's not just about uh, you know an improved car and using batteries. It's also about new infrastructure. Right. You know, so when you look at uh, you know the kind of money that um, you know, is going into trying to save. GM and, and Chrysler, you know, maybe that should be going into building totally you know, different. the battery exchange infrastructure that Better Places mm -hmm. is, uh, is trying to put in, into play.